Right, I saw a comment the other day that I thought was quite interesting. Something along the lines of making a car where the turbo is bigger than the engine. And I thought, hmm, what if your turbo was bigger than the engine? And so I did a little bit of experimenting and learning behind the scenes, basically trying to figure out how to edit the like engine JB file crap. So I, I've got some ideas. I'm gonna make one car with just a regular turbo system and regular sized everything. The second engine, the maximum biggest turbo you can get in automation on its own. And then the third one, well, you'll see. So first engine's basically gonna be like a, a crap like three cylinder EcoBoost whatever. That's what I was thinking. EcoBoost. Inline three, yes. Give me the one litre engine. Give me the turbo. Make it like really sp <laughs> Who's a little fella? <laughs> Bro, that is tiny. This is how big my brain is. What do you mean it doesn't work? 76 horsepower? Yeah, sure, that'll do. Man, this turbo is going to seem absolutely minuscule in the future. Right, now we've just got to make the car. What do you even make this look like? Peugeot, perhaps? Make it look like a Peugeot 106. Right, proper mode of transport. You give it the big stupid headlights. Give it a badge. We could give it a Peugeot badge, but I do like the cachet of a Dacia. Let's give it that stupid smiley face grill that all Peugeots had at this time. Yes! Look at him. Yep, that's a Peugeot. <laughs> I mean Dacia. Another Dacia badge. Yep, it's a car. We we'll call this the Dacia Terrible. The front tires are wide, but your mom's wide. Right, that, that's one car done. Let's export it. Nice. And now we clone the car. And now this is where the fun begins. When I was doing my bits of experimentation, I thought having like an inline three, like a big turbo, would work because inline three is the smallest engine. But that didn't really work because if you have, if you have like a really small like inline three like that, the turbo just doesn't come on at all. So there's just no point. However, if you use an inline six turbocharger, and if we go with twin turbo and then max out the size. <laughs> Oh, it's bigger than I remember. Oh my god. Think of the performance. How much do you want to bet this doesn't work? Almost. When does the turbo come on? <laughs> Barely on the compressor map. This is where the turbo is. You are here. <laughs> this blue worm on the map. Oh god, there it is. <laughs> More boost. More turbo size. More boost. My god, he's gone mad. Percentage of unrestricted compressor flow used. 7,000%. Bruh. I think that might be the best we can do. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that graph! <laughs> so nothing, 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 nothing. Turbo comes on and then you're at red line. <laughs> Bro, when does the turbo come on? 10,000 RPM. 10 and a half thousand RPM. Bro, talk about turbo lag. What a machine. Give it the red valve cover because it's, it's fast. <laughs> Our only warning is that the pistons are experiencing high levels of stress. Oh, you don't say. I don't even know if this will fit in the days here, terrible. It actually does fit. Right, let's uh, make it so we can actually put power down. It's uh, all-wheel drive. Probably a good idea. The brake force is low. You know what? I'm not going to ch- I'm going to keep drums on it. Just because I think that's kind of funny. Going to give it, like, massive wide fenders. Our wide body days here, terrible. Give me the racing softs. You know, just chuck some racing seats in here, why not? Rename this to the Dacia Frest. What even is this. Uh, let's export that one. Nice. Now for the third build. Now for this one, we're going with a four-cylinder engine. Displacement doesn't really matter. We're going to be messing with the J-beam file anyway. So I have 2.3 litres, sure, why not? Turbo, yes. There we go. It makes like 500 horsepower. But once I'm finished with this engine, it will not make 500 horsepower. I don't know what it will make, but it'll make a lot more than that. I think we'll switch this one to longitudinal. And what we're going to do is remove the bonnet, like so. All-wheel drive. But all this stuff you see on the engine, we're just going to get rid of it. There you go. All gone. Because I'm going to do this. We'll put our own man a fold on there and then we're gonna plumb in our own big turbo system <laughs> oh my god where do i even put this thing so we just make that up with our exhaust manifold <laughs> what a mess good lord thou art in heaven horsepower be thy name this is going to be the most ghetto turbo setup you've ever seen in your life well, i don't even know how like a turbo system is rooted into an engine so i'm just going to put pipes everywhere and just and just guess you know, i don't know just stick a pipe there god this is going to take ages can we stick like a like a small like intercooler here yeah that little guy yes <laughs> this makes zero sense man i'm going to take this thing to sema i'll see you there yeah this is looking realistic yeah that looks good <laughs> i think <laughs> what an absolute setup <laughs> imagine you just sat at a car mate this rocks up i think i just set fire to me car 
stick a comb filter on it. Yeah, increase the size of that thing. Yes. Jesus Christ. That looks awesome. <laughs> and if you disagree, you am just incorrect. We'll have the exhaust sticking out here as well. Why not? Got to put a racing seat in this bitch. This is a certified street weapon. Yeah, that looks good. Some race tyres on it, of course. But this is going to be mental. There's actually not any major warnings. How has that happened? The game looks at this and it's like, yeah, it's fine. Of course, the da Dacia Eco My God Boost. <laughs> right, let's export this. Wow. This is going to look so good in the thumbnail. It's taking a while. Oh, it's done! Yeah! And with that, there's just one more thing left to do. Edit the J-Beam file. All right, so we crack open the zip file. Vehicles, that, engine, and that one. Idle RPM roughness. Let's just, like, put that at, like, 285. <laughs> Max torque rating. Let's just put, like, I don't know. So the engine's basically just invincible. Right, wastegate PSI 15? <laughs> no, 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 no. I want 200 PSI. And the max, we can set that to, like, I don't know, 2,000 PSI. Blow off valve sound. That's just, uh, I don't know, 100. Now, the torque numbers. I'm just, I'm just putting in, like, random numbers. I don't even know. All, like, the pro Beam and G modders looking at me do this are absolutely cringing. Well, I think that'll do. Let's take it to Beam. Oh, give me my Dacia Terrible. Wow! Oh my god. The speed. Ah! How much horsepower did this car make? I've already forgotten. Like 70 summer? <laughs> Bro, that was actually kind of sick. <laughs> Gonna see me tiny turbo. <laughs> yes, there it is. Bro, the turbo's smaller than the gearbox. So what kind of top speed this thing can do? Begin the speed test. 80, 90, 100. The speed. 105, 109. Ball. <laughs> Give me, give me my other day so you get out of here. The speed! <laughs> oh my god! I forgot the turbo doesn't come on till 10,000 RPM. Wait for it. Wait for it. There it is! <laughs> Wait for it. Speed! <laughs> The velocity of the Dacia is a lot, mate. <laughs> yeah, let's put them against each other. I wonder who win. Off you go, little Dacia. <laughs> Man, slow and steady does not win the race. <laughs> Get me the proper Dacia Terrible. Yes! <laughs> Damn it, I was so excited I'm knocking all over me cutlery, everything. I can't speak English. It's that good. Oh my good lord. I love it. The speed. Good god. Oh my god. <laughs> the speed! Oh my jeebus! Oh, whoa! <laughs> Me turbo! <laughs> wow! What a car! And it still runs. Turbo is so loud. Let <laughs> me roll cage has come out my car. I don't think it worked. Right, I'm gonna take this to grid map. 250, 260, 270. She's wobbling. I think we still got one more gear. Yes. <laughs> I'm not even I'm not moving the I'm not steering. The car's just doing this. Oh no. <laughs> Actually, I wonder how much horsepower it's making. Oh my god! 2,700 flywheel power. Oh my god! Can I crank the boost up? 200 psi. No. 2,000 psi. Look at the boost gauge. Why isn't it going up to 2,000 psi? I think I should edit the file some more. Well, I've done some more janky JB edits. Let's see if this thing works as intended. Oh, there goes the boost gauge. That's what I wanted. What is happening with the car? Why is the turbo now quieter? High clutch temperature, bruh. What is happening? I don't think we have a clutch anymore. I think we've turned it into a fine paste. <laughs> I think it works. Maybe there's some more adjustments that need to be made. It's more like it. I don't know what the hell I did to make it I don't know. <laughs> well, good news is the clutch isn't breaking anymore, but we're, we're stuck at 20 psi, even though it very obviously isn't 20 psi, and the car is still wobbling. <laughs> I wonder how this would do against, like, the Night Curve GTSR big turbo thing, whatever it was called. My god, what a lineup. Anyway, we do the race, we die. Yeah, you maniac! The speed! I've got him! <laughs> oh god, the brakes are dreadful! Oh no! <laughs> You maniac! Oh god! He's just driving into you, maniac!
Look at this pathetic loser. Bro, what is he doing? Is he no, oh, I've stalled. But you stay away from me. Time trial time. We know it. What a machine. Oh, God, the absolute volume of those turbo noises. <laughs> yes, power. Brake. Brake. God, the brakes are dreadful. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Cross the line. <laughs> oh, was it faster than the night curve? It actually was! By over an entire second. Suck it, Night Curve. Oh, God! <laughs> well, a few things. I've increased the rev limit to 20,000. And I've increased the afterfire, like, modified thing. <laughs> and because it's got such a rough idle, it's just afterfiring. Just on idle. <laughs> oh, God! What a monster. <laughs> Call it overheating immediately. God, look at the temp gauge just shoot up. Wait for it. Instant overheat! <laughs> oh, piston rings immediately damaged. Maybe a 20,000 RPM limit wasn't a good idea! Oh, my God! It's like driving a pack of C4. Does that say 20,000? Oh, my God! <laughs> it's got five digit horsepower numbers. <laughs> I love how there's just no power until you get to like halfway up the tachometer. <laughs> Bonk. Let's do a clutch dump in this thing, see what happens. Oh god! <laughs> Speed! Subscribe to